Hello there, this is Sean Usher on behalf of Eco Fires and Stoves and today I'm talking to Danny Hillier from The Stove Doctor. And Danny, tell us a bit about um, your business and actually how you got started. Yes, yeah, so I've been involved with the uh, stove and fireplace industry now for about five years. Um, started out fitting and installing the, the wood burners and fireplaces themselves. Um, and then on Friday I sort of allocated that day to, to go ahead with the service and maintenance. Um, since then it's really sort of taken off around the local area mm -hmm. um, and it's become more of a full-time job so I sort of took that into my own hands and now I now sort of work in partnership with Eco Fires, mm -hmm. um, handling sort of their database for the service and maintenance and also going elsewhere and getting my own work. So. Okay, so what, first of all, what area do you cover? Um, anywhere within sort of a 20 mile radius at the moment. Um, this is a fleet? Yeah, a fleet. Um, Main areas sort of consist of Fleet, Farnborough, Farnham, um, do a lot of bays in Stoke as well, Church Crook and those sort of areas. So, so with the background that you have in um, in installing stoves, mm -hmm. you must have a, a great more insight than I'd say a lot of other suites who haven't had that background. Yeah, it's definitely been handy coming from that background mm -hmm. of installing. Um, there's a lot of chimney sweeps out there that don't necessarily get involved with the, the insides of the stove and replacement of parts. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been handy having that knowledge um, to be able to do that. So, what does a service actually entail? Um, a service, of what I offer as a, a full service, consists of firstly sweeping the chimney or the liner, um, a thorough sort of internal and external clean of the appliance, replacement of any parts, and just sort of really taking all the insides out of the stove and making, it, making sure it's running as it should be, mm -hmm. really. So. And do the people that have sort of um, normal fire for open fires mm -hmm. rather than a stove is it important that they have a, a service as well no they don't have a service as such um, the most important thing is making sure that chimney is, is nice and clean there's no build up of soot or creosote no no birds sort of nesting in the chimney that sort of thing um, and at the end of that there'll also be sort of a smoke test to make sure it's drawing properly the correct ventilation is installed okay. um, and then a, a certificate will be issued at the end of that to make sure you're sort of covered with your housing insurance so and how often do you think we should have our chimney serviced um, they say around once a year um, a lot of stove manufacturers are now um, advising if you're using the appliance more than three times a week that you should get it done twice a year um, a lot of factors come into play though um, the type of fuel that you're burning, the, the decency of the fuel, whether they're seasoned logs, mm -hmm. um, as I say, the amount you're using it as well, and also the type of chimney that you've got, all depends on how often you need to get it done. So. Yeah, a lot of people probably would move into a new house with a, ch with a chimney uh, and, and an open fire and think, well, I can just, um, I can just sort of just put stop. a fire in yeah. it, but that yeah. wouldn't be advisable, I guess. It's not advisable, um, someone put it quite well, I actually saw a website the other day saying that a chimney fire isn't the sort of house warming that you want. Um, yeah. It's always advisable to, as soon as you move into the house, before you start using that appliance, to get get it serviced and swept and make sure all is. At the end of the day, it could have been just been a normal build that's coming in and installed that fire. Um, it may not be fitted to regulation. They may not have the correct ventilation, which means you could be spilling carbon monoxide back down into the room. Right. You could have a severe blockage inside. It may even be capped off at the top. You never sort of know, especially if you haven't got that sort of knowledge of how they work. So. Mm. And and how long would a would a service actually take on average? The average service obviously all depends on the state of the fire. Some I'm, I'm in and out within half an hour. Um, I'll also advise if I don't think it necessarily needs a service if they've hardly used it. Um, on average, around about an hour, an hour and a half once paperwork and that sort of thing's filled out. Mm -hmm. um, but I generally won't leave until I've got the appliance looking as sort of as good as it was when I went in or when it was installed. So. Yeah. And if, if someone's concerned about their, their furnishings being damaged, I, I take it you take care of all that? Yeah, most of the time um, the soot and the, the dust is generally kept inside a stove. Um, if I'm doing an open fire and I expect it to be quite sooty, I'll um, generally seal the, the, uh, the fireplace opening with a sheet and then sweep through that and that contains all the dust inside. Um, if there's a blockage, um, generally that's the only time it's going to be a bit more dirty and um, in that case I'll as I say sheet up the opening and then also put sheets over the furniture and all that. Tell me about any organisations that you belong to. Um, I belong to um, firstly HEATAS which is the solid fuel sort of association for fitting any anything to do with wood burners, fireplaces um, and also since starting out servicing I've, I've joined the National Association of Chimney Sweeps. Um, they basically put you through a bit of a vetting process to make sure you're Content of working inside the house, make sure you've got correct insurance policies, um, and you also put 
for an assessment at the end to make sure you've got the correct knowledge for doing the job at hand. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dan, that's great. So tell us, how can we get hold of you? Yeah, you can reach me by uh, searching the Stove Doctor on Google or directly to my website, which is www.stoveservicing.co.uk. There you go. Thank you very much. There you are. That's Danny Hillier, and he works on behalf of Eco Fires and Stoves.